Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's Star Wars Rebels Season 2, Episode 7. Really loved the last episode. I thought that Hondo's addition to uh, this show was pretty great. And I think that uh, him and Ezra could have been a great team if Ezra had decided to go off with him. I really don't know what the relationship between Hondo and the other members of the Ghost Crew are. Uh, if he even knows them or if that was just a matter of convenience that they needed to buy those fuel cells and he had them. Either way... Um, Ezra didn't get in too much trouble, it didn't seem like, and uh, I'm really hoping uh, Hondo returns. So, with that, let's roll it. The Empire has doubled our work quotas and cut our Where rations. Where are we headed? Without your food drop, the weakest among us will starve. Stay strong, my friend. <laughs> Maybe the weak should band together and take out the rest of you. <laughs> Just say it. Transmission is being uh -oh. jammed. Of course like it is. Where's the Empire? <laughs> yeah, quite a blockade there. Boy, this system is under Imperial control. Stand hmm. down. Simple solution here, Callus. Feed the people that you've uh, got control over. I'll give him this. He's persistent. Deploying fighters. We'll cover you, Ghost. Start your run. All right. How are we going to get past these guys, though? Oh, I don't know why I never noticed that bow gun was directly underneath the pilot seat. That's kind of neat. Good shot, Kanan. <laughs> well, come on, Ghost. Get in, be get in front of those shots and take some of it. <laughs> Man, Hera, get in front of some of those shots. Oh, they're done. The I guess mission's over already. All ships, abort, abort. Oh yeah, of course. Gonna have to retreat now. <laughs> Callus recognizes that ship. Have to get out of here. Oh. Wow, painful. How many people were lost there? With our two remaining transports, I know. I can get at least one through. We don't have much time. <laughs> You're going to lose an entire transport just to uh, get one through? We must try. There is an alternative. I've been in contact with an engineer who claims to have built a prototype heavy assault starfighter. A blockade heavy master. assault starfighter. Hmm. Let's get it. Shipmaster Quarry will only discuss his ship in person. That's Jupiter. I can't believe you volunteered me for this reckless mission. True. Reckless mission? But I think your proposal was a reckless mission. Oh, are we talking in riddles now? Is that it? We hmm. can't beat that blockade. Not without a better ship. I still might not make it back in time to help. Then you better hurry. Yeah, quit talking then. <laughs> Just do. That makes me co-pilot. <laughs> I think Chopper took I that spot. It. I'm in the chair. I'm co-pilot. Would you tell him I'm co-piloting? No. So you guys figured it out. You. Now strap in. Got to pick up the last of the supplies. I'm going to use that one. You guys are co irritating me. Well, yeah, this planet looks just like Jupiter. It's so hard to land here. And the upper atmosphere is tricky. Tricky how? Your craft never seems to maintain its power. Whoa. What does Say, that mean? what? Yeah, what does that, what mean? that means. It means it's no about to lose its outer shell. No flying, just falling. Could have mentioned this before I got on board. You well, she's a come. good pilot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so they're effectively getting an EMP to the ship on their way down. Hopefully the surface is made of pillows. Wow. <laughs> oh, was that a ship stuck into the side of the hill? <laughs> that was your imagination. That was your imagination. Oh, man. Impressive. Oh no. <laughs> hey, can you guys stand near the back door? <laughs> You're about to be. Don't walk that direction. Walk the other way. Okay, perfect. You're here about my ship. There she is. What do you think? I call it the bleed wing. Uh, the bleed wing? Ship. Is it upside down? 
Looks Kinda like looks it's funky. Been a garbage masher. Agile, a narrow attack profile, and it packs a punch. A narrow I'm attack profile. That sounds kind of nice. Ion cannons and proton torpedoes. The fleet really needs this. The fleet, huh? What makes you think she's yours? Say what now? I thought that was the plan. What was the deal here? Oh, that's a neat astromech. Clear dome. Look, if I don't fly your ship. Who will? I, you, I guess you need to go prove yourself to him, Hera. Would have been better if you wouldn't have crashed the ship on landing. Report. We have cut all remaining rations from the Ibarian people. There are a few holdouts in the mountains. Well, they're basically using the Ibarian people here just to draw in the rebels. You know, yeah, it makes sense. All the way out here. Makes more sense than just randomly tracks. starving out Why the people. Why would I hand over my ship to just any pilot? <laughs> would any pilot <laughs> She's not just any pilot. To come to this death trap? Uh, you didn't really want to, Hera. Where did you? I was a little girl when the Clone War came to Ryloth. So you left your family to fight? I left my family so I could fly. As a combat pilot? Yeah, if we want freedom, just any pilot, I guess. difficult choices. It's all rooted in something I can't explain. Is she selling you on her being the pilot there. yet? When my ship is in need of a pilot. Well, was she inspiring to you or what? When she went out there, there was never a guarantee she'd be back in time. So we're making Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. We are transporting the supplies in the ghost. Hey, you wanted to be the co-pilot. Primary target. Yeah, yeah, but the ghost is smaller and faster. So, with any luck, We'll just slip right by. You actually believe that? It makes me feel better when I say it. <laughs> Besides, we have gotta feed those people. Now are you in? It makes me feel better when I say it. Yeah, what is this thing? Is this a Y-Wing here? Well, How many times have you flown it? Show them what you got, Hera. Oh, I don't fly. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I don't even... Theoretically, <laughs> it should fly. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> yeah, this thing's pretty neat. I mean... Obviously, it makes sense that somebody has developed... <laughs> I think she did that on purpose, right? <laughs> I would hope. There she goes. Yeah, to see these things in development, that's awesome. It looks like an early model, obviously. It's slightly Let's different. See what this beast can do. Actually, not a Y-Wing. What is that, a B-Wing? I can't... Whatever it is. I don't think it was meant to fly like that, but... <laughs> Of course, she's going to put it through its paces. Test every extreme possible. Masterful. Yes. Commencing exactly. I think she's the right pilot. Did you pull the big lever on the right? No. Try Let's see what it does. Oh, it's got a gunner spot. Ooh. Gosh, it's almost like a Death Star shot. You like that? <laughs> nice. I want to see her shoot Callus's ship with that thing. Well, she's impressed. I think the designer's impressed with her flying, too. Your ship certainly has the firepower we need, but the targeting oh, yeah. system could use some work. I've got some ideas. No, no, that's my ship. Never <laughs> get between a Mandalorian and a weapons package. It's their religion. <laughs> the ship is exactly what the Rebellion needs. That's great news, Hera. Kanan, they're starting. Uh, What's going on? The Ibarians We're going without you. They're at their breaking point. Um, I think Hera's going to have to intervene here. We need to get moving. The second attack is about to commence. The weapons work, but we've got no light speed. Well, that has been a problem. It's Has been it been a problem? You you mean you knew about this? There are all sorts of adjustments that need to be made. For instance, I don't even too late for that. Job so much. <laughs> well, Sabine can handle the paint job. If you can fly. just get it running. Hang on, hang on, Zed. It's a shame I had BG install that other hyperdrive on the Phantom. So wait a minute. Beautiful, crazy Mon Calamari. You put a That's hyperdrive the on the Phantom, mating the two ships together. What are you gonna do? Sir, enemy ships are approaching from Sector 9. Scan the rebel ships. All right, let's uh, have a little smarter strategy this time. 
Corellian BCX as the supply transport. Of course. I think that's the Commander first time I've heard that. Corellian BCX? Of course it's a Corellian ship. It kind of looks like the Millennium Falcon. It has a similar look anyway. Well, what'd you learn from last time? Come on, Rex. Yeah, what'd you learn from last time that you can do better? Maybe going straight at him isn't the right way. Just truck and trailer, huh? Just convoy the thing right in. At least they're kind of blocking some of the shots from the ghost. I'll knock that cruiser out of your way. Here we go. Yes. Turn me loose, Phantom. Of course, made it next to the uh, Phantom. Oh, we will. If there's anything left of Perfect. Time to shine, Hera. Sir, yeah, I think, I, if I recall correctly, that's a B-wing. I kept saying Y-wing, but... Design. I would hardly call that reinforcements. <laughs> Wait until you see it shoot. Being yeah, per prepare for this, uh, then it's a good thing you mini me. Death Star shot. Well, you don't have to be that close, do you? <laughs> Sir, the unidentified ship is taking the lead. It's moving into attack position off our starboard side. Oh, you underestimated them, huh, Callus? Steady. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> nice. Wow. Just ripped That's a hole right through them. We'll hold off any that makes you wonder why the, why the Get Rebels ever running. lost. The drop. Nice. The drop was successful. Let's go home, Phoenix Squadron. Yeah, getting out of here. <laughs> oh, he's impressed. Now your ship made a difference, man. I was hoping Callus' ship would get shot at, but oh well. We helped many people today. You I did. Just hammered it together. You made it soar. Indeed. He promoted to Phoenix leader. Our fighter pilots will benefit greatly from your expertise. Yes. <laughs> Good job, Captain. <laughs> what a neat episode, and what a neat way in which to introduce that into Star Wars. The B-Wing, obviously I've seen it before. I mistakenly called it a Y-Wing several times during the episode, but I am familiar with the B-Wing. Hera putting it through its uh, flight test and initial weapons test, and getting to see that was awesome. And uh, obviously she did well enough to impress the calamari that he let her fly it on this mission. And uh, obviously now the rebellion is planning to have these mass produced by the same designer. So good all the way around. Obviously that weapon system though doesn't get maintained on the B-Wings. I don't remember it from any of the original shows. And if they had it, they would have been just tearing through every Star Destroyer they came across, I would think. So obviously the weapon system has to be downgraded to some degree, and maybe it's because of this hyperdrive issue that they had in this episode. But either way, really cool ship. Love that Hera um, flew this thing, and uh, her mission was awesome. And, uh, you know, now she's, what, leader of the Phoenix group, so that's awesome as well. Please give a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.